Okay, this is the video for chapter 6.0. Um, again, I have the finished product here for you to take a look at. And take, take the time to go through the chapter in the book. Uh, he covers a few topics you might want to, um, well, you will use it. You probably already used it in the past, uh, such as the fillet, how to do a fillet, and using construction lines. You guys know how to do that. Also, the dimension toolbar. He shows you how to go to tools, toolbar, AutoCAD, and call up the dimension toolbar. And you can move this around anywhere you like. And he shows you how pretty much how to use a center mark. Like if I had a circle, let's do that again. Circle. You could go to center mark click it and use your grips to bring those out like that click the other line so if you guys like like to do it this way you might want to give that a shot as long as they're you got to be careful make sure they're the same length all the way around and you can just come out here and create another circle if you wanted to and extend use the extend command by clicking that and then clicking these lines here and then maybe using your trim trim off that way we have the same length for the center lines all the way around okay I'm not going to go into that just check that out you guys might like to do it that way um, erase this right quick basically you know how I've done it in the past, I draw one line, copy it, move it over, rotate it, put it back. So either way, doesn't matter to me as long as you get it the correct way. So take a look at uh, this toolbar, which is an extension of all of these things here in one toolbar. And you can get a lot of uh, other toolbars here and, and put those on your desktop if you like. For instance, to draw, you can bring all of these out. Sometimes it's real handy to have them right here go back and forth. Well, that's up to you guys. You can use it up here or down here. Um, take a look at the Dimension Style Manager. Um, we, we go to Format, Dimension Style, like that. So we've been doing that all along, but these are just some of the topics he's bringing up um, where we do all of our primary units and all of that good stuff. Uh, let's see if anything else. Angular dimensions. We've already done that here. And and you would just go. Let me get escape. Do how I got this dimension. Just go to angular. Choose this line and that line. And I got my 30 degree angle. So a lot of these things we've already been over. Um, let me get out of these. Bottom line, this is what we're looking for here. Go ahead and create your title block. I don't really like this crossing over the dimension. So probably what I would do is come in here. Let's get a diameter dimension right here. I'd rather leave that inside of the drawing than to cross over another dimension. So I'd probably do this. Create this block. Bring it over, transfer it over here, and again, this dimension stayed because I, I didn't change my block. But anyway, make sure you got it. Make sure it looks like this, and bring it in, and that'll be all we need for Chapter 6.0.